Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Digital Storm. And I'm Dennis and today what I'm going to do is show you how to add and set up a domain name on a Plask control panel. And it really doesn't matter if you're using DigitalOcean, Vulture, AWS, or wherever it is, it's set up the same way. So what we need to do is open a new tab and then go to wherever your provider is and copy your IP address. Go back, hit paste. You put a colon 8443. That's the port number for your login page for the Plus control panel. As you can tell, I'm already, it just took me right into it. But when you get to the login page, just go ahead and for the username, just put admin and a passcode that you had at the time that you set up Plask. If you haven't got to that far about setting up Plask, I got a video of how to set up Plask on DigitalOcean. You can watch that and be caught up. Now, when you get into this, as you can tell, I do not have any domains listed on my pass control panel. At this time, I want to go down to add domain and then it'll bring you to this site or this little section that adding new domain you could already uh, one that you have registered if you already own one or you could have plask assign you a temporary one and of course when we go down we could do more altering but right this time i've got a name that i want to set up and that name is going to be kotzen.xyz that I've already got so I'm going to just type in kotzen.xyz and then after we get down there the IP address of course none now we see we got kotzen I'm going to put my own passcode in there but you could put whatever you want or you could have it auto generate one for you just make sure it's a good strong passcode and be able to keep it that way then come down and click add domain and as you could tell it's configuring everything that's needed in order to run my domain configuring the php the mail you name it it's doing it says domain kotzen xyz create it it's down here it's talking about domain resolve settings because we don't have it pointed to that yet but we will get it pointed to it and as you could tell it brought me into my Kotzen XYZ and here is all the, the stuff that we need to do in order to set stuff up like the SSL, TSL and now what we do we need to point this domain to this particular IP address so go to whatever registered that you got your domain at in my case it's going to be namecheap.com as you can tell, I got it registered here. And what we go ahead and go over to Advanced DNS. And I'm going to add some records to my file in order to point it over to my new website. And now we need you to copy your IP address again. Go back to your register. And regardless which register it is, it should be similar. You could find your host records, your glue records, or whatever they call them, DNS records. And in this case, uh, right here under, if you're on Namecheap, go to Advanced DNS, go down to Host Records, and go to Add New Record. We're going to add an A record. And since this is your root, the add symbol, and we're going to add an IP address. We're going to click this little green check symbol and that will add it to it. We need at least one more for this time being. And it's going to be a C name record. Go ahead and click it and type in www in whatever your domain is. In my case, it's Kotzen XYZ. And we're going to leave everything the same and we're going to click the check mark. This right here will point our domain to the hosting service that we're using. See, if I go over to domain, you can tell I'm still using Namecheap Basic DNS service. So it's still using their DNS resolver, but 
I'm going to show you in another video how to set it up where you can use Digital Ocean. But at this video, it's going to be Namecheap. And then go to whatsmydns.net and click enter. Type in your name, kotzen.xyz. What this does is basically kind of let me know how fast it's starting to propagate. So basically, when it does this, it's already acknowledging all the 137s and if you look at my numbers 137184 so it's doing a very quick job of getting everything propagated there's a few x's but they're eventually going to turn to check marks and of course you could go to c name and click search and all my c names starting to propagate so that is a good sign now we got Kotzen XYZ set up and pointing, but let's look at it under a new tab XYZ. Click enter and you come to this page. I'm on Firefox, so this will come to me now. If you're on did if you're on Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, you could type in this is unsafe and it will go ahead and bypass this screen now if you're on firefox just go click advance and accept the risk and continue of course it says this is the default web page generated for Kotzen, so that's good we know it's got it our domain edit and set up on plus control panel and the next ones or the next thing we're going to do on another video is show you how to install wordpress and set it up so click the like thumbs up and comment below